The Sarachina Hole hidden secret finally revealed, and it isn't good. In the outskirts of a quaint village in Eastern Europe, a three decade old mystery continues to haunt the servicemen and women involved to their very core. Why did the Bulgarian army dedicate two years to excavating the foothills of the Balkan mountains, only to hide all traces of their endeavors? The elusive answers remain entombed alongside the mystery of Sarakina. The impact forcefully propelled the young soldier across the room, causing him to collide with one of the chamber walls with a sickening crunch against the polished stone. He slumped to the ground, lying motionless for a fleeting moment amidst the ensuing silence. Suddenly, the confined space erupted with the cacophony of gunfire. The colonel observed in astonishment as his troops unleashed rounds into the haze enveloping the room center, obscuring the entity embedded in the opposite wall. Bullets penetrated the shimmering field, halting mid-air before descending harmlessly to the ground. Amidst the chaos, a rifleman continued firing until another soldier was flung across the room by an unseen force his weapon inadvertently striking at least two comrades. The once deafening gunfire yielded to the agonizing cries of the wounded, prompting the commanding officer to issue a retreat order. The soldiers commenced their ascent to the surface through a labyrinth of spiraling corridors originally not designed for human traversal. Colonel Kenneth, ensuring the wounded were prioritized at the forefront, grasped a rifle and paused, his hand against the smooth, cold stone of the corridor wall. Sensing a steady vibration intensifying, he observed a faint green light creeping along the tunnel floor, its intensity mirroring the growing thrum. Nearby, a psychic's frantic warnings echoed, claiming they should never have ventured into this cursed domain, prophesying doom for their return to the surface. In response, Kenneth asserted that if she desired death below, he would accommodate, promptly ordering two riflemen to escort her away. Colonel Kenneth reluctantly dismissed the pleading expressions on the faces of the two soldiers, instructing them sternly to serve as their rearguard and reminding them of their duty to safeguard the Bulgarian people. As the main party advanced, they were startled by gunfire reverberating from the tunnel behind them, abruptly silenced. Eventually, the air grew colder and daylight illuminated the path ahead. Emerging into the open, the party was met by orderlies and medics rushing to their aid. The colonel urgently commanded the engineers to seal the tunnel entrance using excavators, only to learn that the machines were malfunctioning. Likewise, the two perimeter guarding tanks were out of commission, necessitating the use of explosive charges instead. Amidst the chaos, the psychic continued to berate him for disregarding her warnings and those of Baba Vanga. Tempted to silence her permanently, the colonel opted instead to have her sedated by one of the orderlies deferring dealing with her until later. Minutes later, the charges were detonated, burying the fallen soldiers deep underground along with whatever had taken their lives. Throughout history, Bulgaria has endured its fair share of conflicts. Since the Thracian tribes united to form their nation, the Bulgarian people have faced a perpetual cycle of invasion and rebellion. From the Persians to the Romans, the Ottomans to the Soviet Union, a constant stream of empires has sought to conquer the territory, only for its inhabitants to reclaim their independence through periods of arduous struggle. Located approximately 20 miles northwest of Sofia, the Bulgarian capital, the unassuming village of Sarakina remained largely unknown to the majority of the population until 30 years ago. However, on December 6, 1990, a substantial military presence descended upon the settlement, cordoning off a significant portion of farmland in the process. Dubbed Operation Sunray, the project was under the command of Colonel F.E.T. Coker Neve, as announced by the Bulgarian Ministry of Defense. The endeavor aimed to uncover a long-rumored treasure believed to have been buried for centuries. Local legends suggested that Samuel, the Bulgarian emperor, had hidden a vast trove of gold near the village before engaging in battle with the Ottoman Empire. Colonel Neve was tasked with the mission to locate and retrieve this lost fortune. Upon securing the site, Colonel Neve instructed his men to dig a deep shaft into the earth. 
The excavation faced challenges including the threat of flooding from a nearby underground lake and malfunctioning electrical equipment brought by the soldiers. With excavators and power tools failing, the men resorted to manual labor using pickaxes and shovels. At a depth of about 6 meters, they encountered a thick layer of stone that proved impenetrable with hand tools. Eventually, explosives were employed to breach the barrier, revealing a mysterious spiral passageway hidden beneath. As the initial squads of soldiers cautiously ventured into the tunnels, the excavation site was suddenly besieged by inexplicable occurrences. Almost immediately, numerous infantrymen stationed at the compound reported sightings of enigmatic figures and creatures lurking just beyond the perimeter fences. Witness accounts varied, describing beings ranging from towering seven-foot-tall monsters to diminutive figures barely a foot in stature concealed within the undergrowth. Alongside with mysterious sightings, the site experienced widespread vehicle and machinery failures, coupled with malfunctioning radio equipment that rendered communication impossible both within and beyond the compound. Despite efforts to establish communication through a telephone landline from a nearby village to the command post, operators complained of eerie whispers infiltrating their calls. As time progressed, military personnel delved deeper into the labyrinthine corridors while the surrounding region buzzed with reports of unidentified flying objects. While the individual descriptions of these crafts varied in appearance, all were said to be brightly illuminated, emitting flames as they traversed the sky. In June 1992, local resident Alka Kirova was startled awake by her dog's barking. Upon opening her front door, she witnessed three shadowy figures hurrying across the land from the excavation site's direction, disappearing into the nearby tree line. Shortly after, a brilliant white light ascended into the sky and vanished. Karova reported the incident to Colonel Kenneth, whose team found a circular patch of burnt ground where she had seen the object. In the ensuing days, both Karova and the soldiers experienced extreme fatigue, confining them to bed. Alarmingly, this was among the less peculiar incidents reported. On the evening of November 27, 1991, Villager Groucho Korolev found himself bathed in a bright light, emanating from the sky as he neared his home. He lost consciousness, and upon awakening the next morning, he had no memory of the preceding hours. Adding to the mystery, he discovered himself in the village of Misty Sur, 40 miles south of his last known location. After two years of exploration, the riflemen investigating the tunnels beneath Sarakina encountered a significant obstacle a massive slab of polished stone resembling a concave lens. Upon breaking through, they entered a circular chamber with walls polished to a mirror-like shine. At the chamber's far end lay the skeletal remains of an immense creature seemingly fused into the rock. Colonel Kenneth supervised as his men attempted to navigate the chamber, observing strange symbols resembling hieroglyphs beneath the stone surface at certain points along the walls. Upon reaching the chamber center, they encountered an invisible barrier that inflicted severe injuries on some soldiers. The events that followed prompted the army to swiftly retreat from the tunnel network, demolishing the entry point and covering the site with concrete before departing. All records of the operation were later concealed from public access. It was estimated that the entire endeavor had incurred costs exceeding $20 million for the Bulgarian government yielding nothing but a legacy of confusion and distress. With no official documentation to elucidate the events that transpired beneath Sarakina, commentators have been compelled to reconstruct the sequence of events based on the accounts of some surviving members of the excavation. Among those interviewed was Colonel Kenneth himself, who provided descriptions of both the spiraling tunnel network and the central chamber housing the unidentified entity. Colonel Kenneth admitted that the narrative of Emperor Samuel's lost treasure had always served as a cover story. In reality, he and his team had been directed to the location by a group of psychics and remote viewers who had described something buried just beneath the surface, designated by the military as object number one. He further recounted how several of his men had perished due to exposure to a mysterious bacterium, while others had inexplicably been transported around the site their lifeless bodies subsequently discovered fused within the rock itself. One of the remote viewers mentioned earlier, Arlie Logan, 
dedicated years after the project to garner support for a subsequent expedition to the site. She asserted that the entity residing within the buried object was one of humanity's oldest ancestors, striving to guide people to its location for millennia. Logan claimed that during World War II, Hitler fruitlessly sought the entity, even invading Russia in pursuit. She alleged that the creature had revealed future visions to her. Logan detailed how she recorded these visions in four journals, all later confiscated by the Bulgarian army. These journals depicted spacecraft propelled by harnessing solar energy and soldiers wearing bullet-repelling attire. Another insight into Operation Sunray came from military professor Deltona Platinoff's writings, whose daughter Marina, possessing latent psychic abilities, was involved in the expedition. He alleges that before embarking on the mission, Marina received a warning from the renowned seer Baba Vanga, advising her not to disturb whatever entity resided beneath Sarakina. Professor Platinoff elaborates on Marina's close collaboration with Colonel Kenneth throughout the project, including her descent into the tunnels with him. Upon her return from the site, Marina underwent a profound change and tragically chose to end her life by leaping from a tall building. In the years following the closure of the Sarakina site, a team of researchers from the University of Sofia set up camp near the town, intending to conduct scientific tests to elucidate the Army's objectives and the significant sources invested in the expedition. Over a 20-day period, they scanned the area for anomalies, such as fluctuations in electromagnetic radiation. Within the first week, they encountered multiple UFO sightings and experienced a perplexing incident involving their equipment being manipulated by an unseen, poltergeist-like entity. However, it was the appearance of an unidentified craft flying low over their campsite and emitting a beam of light onto their campfire causing it to blaze uncontrollably that prompted them to abandon their tests and return to the safety of the capital. What lies concealed beneath the rugged terrain of this Bulgarian landscape? What prompted military psychics to mobilize soldiers and engineers to its dormant location? Arlie Logan insists it's a prehistoric entity possessing immense psychic abilities bent on manipulating humanity to free it from its underground captivity. Alternately, some speculate it to be a crashed spacecraft, activated by the Army's actions, triggering a distress signal attracting extraterrestrial aid. This theory has led to Sarakina being likened to Bulgaria's Area 51. Reports of varied shapes and sizes of entities and flying crafts witnessed at the site suggest a third, more captivating theory. Some propose Sarakina as an interdimensional portal where our reality intersects with neighboring realms, allowing inhabitants from those domains to traverse freely into our world. One of the most infamous alleged crossover sites is Skidwalker Ranch in Utah a location already explored. Reported incidents include encounters with mysterious beings, sightings of giant creatures, and observations of alien spacecraft, all seemingly manifesting in our reality as if passing through an invisible gateway before returning to their original plane of existence. The Bermuda Triangle and the U.S. Air Force facility at Montauk in Long Island are also cited as examples of this phenomenon. However, the diverse range of reported incidents during the operation may suggest a more rational explanation. Over the project's two-year duration, a significant number of military personnel would have been stationed temporarily at the site, influenced by the myths and rumors circulated by their predecessors. New arrivals would have been predisposed to interpret their experiences in the isolated and stressful environment as paranormal encounters. Every equipment failure was suddenly attributed to a mysterious and malevolent force, while any curious trespasser near the base perimeter was suspected of being a marauding cryptid or alien intruder. Despite numerous reported incidents and a plethora of alleged witnesses, it's noteworthy that there exists no photographic or video evidence of the events. This absence could suggest deliberate suppression by the military, or it might indicate that the sightings were merely products of overactive imaginations. Operation Sunray remains shrouded in secrecy, both internally and metaphorically. Consequently, the outcomes have been twofold. Firstly, the ultimate truth of the events may never be revealed. And secondly, the mystery persists within the Bulgarian populace and the scientific community at large. 
Whether it was a naive pursuit of buried treasure or a misguided attempt to engage with a powerful and enigmatic entity, it's evident that the operation ended in failure. However, the rumors and tales spawned by it, whether born from paranoia or intentional deceit, ensured that the legend of Sarakina will never truly fade away. The legend of Sarakina persists like a stubborn ghost haunting the collective memory of Bulgaria. It's a story whispered in hushed tones in dimly lit taverns and debated fervently in academic circles. Yet despite the passage of time, the mystery only seems to deepen, with each retelling adding layers of intrigue and speculation. In the aftermath of Operation Sunray, the Bulgarian government swiftly moved to quash any public discussion of the events that transpired in the remote village. Official records were classified, witnesses silenced, and the site itself buried beneath layers of concrete and secrecy. However, the human imagination is not so easily contained, and rumors of what truly lurked beneath the earth continue to spread like wildfire. For some, Sarakina became a cautionary tale, a warning against delving too greedily into the unknown. They saw the failed expedition as a testament to the dangers of hubris, a reminder that some mysteries are best left untouched. Others, however, saw it as evidence of a vast conspiracy, a cover-up orchestrated by shadowy forces with their own inscrutable agendas. In the years following the closure of the excavation site, a small but dedicated cadre of researchers embarked on a quest to uncover the truth behind the Sarakina enigma. Armed with little more than curiosity and a handful of eyewitness accounts, they sought to unravel the tangled web of lies and half-truths that shrouded the incident. Their efforts were met with resistance at every turn. Government officials stonewalled their inquiries, citing national security concerns and the need to preserve the integrity of ongoing investigations. Witnesses were intimidated into silence, their testimonies dismissed as the ramblings of troubled minds. Undeterred, the researchers pressed on, piecing together fragments of information gleaned from obscure sources and clandestine meetings. They combed through dusty archives and pored over faded photographs, hoping to catch a glimpse of the truth hidden beneath the layers of deception. Their perseverance eventually bore fruit, albeit in the form of tantalizing clues rather than concrete answers. They uncovered evidence of strange occurrences in the vicinity of Sarakina long before the arrival of Colonel Kenneth and his ill-fated expedition. Reports of UFO sightings, unexplained disappearances, and encounters with otherworldly beings littered the historical record, hinting at a deeper, darker truth lurking beneath the surface. As they delved deeper into the mystery, the researchers found themselves drawn into a labyrinth of conspiracy and intrigue. They unearthed evidence of clandestine government experiments, secret societies, and shadowy cabals vying for control of forces beyond human comprehension. Yet, for all their efforts, the ultimate truth remained frustratingly elusive. The more they uncovered, the more questions arose. Each layer of deception peeled away, revealing yet another layer beneath. The theories surrounding Sarakina are diverse and complex, each offering a unique perspective on the enigmatic events that unfolded in the village. One prevailing theory suggests extraterrestrial involvement, positing that the strange phenomena witnessed during Operation Sunray may be attributed to alien visitors. This theory proposes that the Bulgarian government's efforts to conceal the truth were driven by a desire to prevent widespread panic and maintain control over the situation. Supporters of this theory believe that the anomalies observed, such as unidentified flying objects and mysterious figures, point to the presence of extraterrestrial beings. Another theory suggests that the excavation at Sarakina uncovered an ancient artifact or advanced technology of unknown origin. This theory is rooted in the anomalies experienced by military personnel, including the failure of electronic equipment and machinery. Proponents of this theory speculate that the buried object may hold the key to unlocking new scientific discoveries or even rewriting human history. The possibility of uncovering an artifact or technology with advanced capabilities has fueled speculation about the true nature of the site's discoveries. Building on reports of strange occurrences and unexplained phenomena, some theorists propose that Sarakina may be a nexus point for interdimensional travel. According to this theory, the village could serve as a gateway to alternate realities or parallel dimensions, 
allowing beings from other worlds to cross into our own. The anomalies observed during Operation Sunray, such as sightings of strange creatures or unexplained phenomena, are seen as evidence of this interdimensional connection. This theory raises questions about the nature of reality and the possibility of interactions with beings from other dimensions. Given the involvement of physics or remote viewers in Operation Sunray, some believe that the events at Sarakina may have a paranormal explanation. This theory suggests that the mysterious entity known as Object Number 1 could possess psychic abilities or exert a paranormal influence over its surroundings. The sightings of strange creatures and unexplained phenomena are interpreted as manifestations of the psychic energy. Proponents of this theory point to the reported experiences of military personnel and the involvement of psychics as evidence of paranormal activity at the site. Finally, there are those who argue that the entire saga of Sarakina is the result of a government cover-up. According to this theory, the Bulgarian authorities discovered something of great significance at the site and went to great lengths to conceal the truth from the public. The secrecy surrounding Operation Sunray, the suppression of evidence, and the disappearance of key witnesses are all cited as evidence of a concerted effort to hide the true nature of what was found at Sarakina. This theory raises questions about the role of government agencies in controlling information and shaping public perception of mysterious events. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. If so, please give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for more content like this.